It was a really interesting script. And I, I had heard that um, that they had been developing the story for a really long time, so that like sparked my interest. I wanted to see, you know, what was this project that JJ and the and the and the other creative minds were trying to cook up, and were just trying to get right. So I was just trying to do whatever I needed to do to get invited to the team. Yeah, and I arrived on board at at, at the end. Basically, I was the only the, the last one to be cast, and. Uh, when I auditioned for the film, I didn't have any scene from this, the actual film. And so when I read the script for the first time, I was like, oh, wow, that's going to be amazing. <laughs> and when I discovered the entire cast, I was so I was so thrilled to start working with them and learn a lot from them. It was, it was fantastic. I've been uh, seriously extremely lucky uh, to have a such an amazing crew around me and the cast have been so supportive and so genuine with me and it was my first big film and so working with them which got such amazing experiences they've been guiding me and uh, that was quite funny because at the beginning they were all knew each other really well and there was a joking with a very strong American accent and I am on the side and I understand the joke and the joke is coming to my mind five ten minutes later and I'm starting to laugh and they all look <laughs> okay well we're there to try to help the people of this village in France. And uh, I think when we first see her, she appears to be like an immediate threat because we don't know who she's aligned with or who she knows in this town. And I think it's, it's kind of, it takes a nice turn when we see that she, her, uh, her own personal mission kind of aligns with ours really nicely. She is a French girl which was born and bred in a village in France which have been surrendered by the Nazi for the last four years and she uh, doesn't trust anyone because her entire life has been taken away by the end of, this, of soldiers. And so when, they met, when she met the Americans, she doesn't know them, she doesn't trust them. And, uh, but Boy sees the, actually the, her relief and her, like a nice breeze for her because she can feel safe for the first time as well. And uh, when she understands that she actually can trust them, um, it's, um, she becomes completely committed to them. And uh, she's finally found the possibility to defend her cause. He's just trying to trying to find where he fits in this whole scheme of things. I think it's it's it could be scary for anybody to come in and be a novice at whatever they're doing. Uh, and I just think he wants to show his worth and show that he can contribute in a major way and just be a part of a team and do what he needs to do to help end the war. Because I think ultimately he understands that to end the war, you have to actually go through it. So I think he's just trying to find the best way to do that and to save as many people as possible. It's definitely that they had a fun movie going experience. It's just simply put, you know, something that's, you know, it's not necessarily trying to speak of what's going on <clears throat> in society today or anything like that, which is not a problem for films that to do that because it is necessary. But it's nice to just be able to grab some popcorn, get a drink, go watch a great movie, have a good time, and then be able to talk and laugh about it later and just, you know, yeah, I think enjoy you, it. Definitely, and I think you should see the film a few times to actually digest it. And the second time I watched the film was last night and I and I saw so many different parts that I, even shooting it, and it was so interesting. I think the audience would ap really appreciate it. And I definitely recommend to watch it on cinema and IMAX. IMAX, just to, have to. Because the sound, the visual effects, just the experience and being in the room and being surrounded by, it's, yeah, it's a cinema film for sure.